of our program is Panthers, Panther PhDs, Panthers Promoting Healthy Decisions. And pretty much today we're gonna to talk a little bit about one of the one of the drugs that are used at on Prairie View's campus in our community. And it's called um, CERT, that's what we call it. Um, it's, it's pretty much codeine, and a lot of people have died from it. We, um, as a matter of fact, Judge Hill did an um, a article on it, and that's what she's gonna discuss today. Pretty much, um, they call it, anybody know who, anybody, uh, raise your hand if you heard the 3-6 Mafia? You know that uh, song, sipping on that scissor? A lot of people down south, that's what they do. The Wayne does it, um, Bun B, Pimp C, recently just died. Um, rest in peace. Um, and pretty much, that's what we're gonna get into. Uh, and that's what it, it's, it's, it's referred to as a lot of different things. Sir, purple, perp, all different things like that. But just we're gonna get more into it. Good afternoon. Um, as Greg said, the purpose of our presentation is because Ms. Tony saw our newsletter and it's called I Know a Safer Way to Do It newsletter. And we email this campus-wide. It goes to our faculty, staff, our students. So it reaches at almost 10,000 people. And we're trying to send this every month to get people to know exactly what our program is about. And each month we have different articles. And this newsletter fo focused on to sip or not to sip. As Greg said, CERB is a popular drug used on our campus. Um, most people think when they think of CERB, they think of NyQuil, Robitussin, things of that nature. But on our campus, they're actually using illegal prescription drugs. And we can go to the slide show. It's, it's not difficult to get on our campus because we are located in Houston, Texas. Next. We're located 40 miles outside of Houston, Texas, Houston, Texas, which is the fourth largest city in the state of Texas. Because of that, um, we're nicknamed the city of Serb. Anybody familiar with undergrad, underground rap music like Screw Music, DJ Screw, things of that nature? Yes, it originated in the south side of Houston, Texas. There are different names for this drug, Serb, Lean, Drank, Purple Stuff, Bar, remember the song, Bar Baby? It's back in 19, probably like 98. That was a popular song. And it perpetuated this drug. Um, the drug is actually prescription codeine cough syrup. They mix it with soda, candy, but the candy they use is Jolly Ranchers and a Sprite. You put about four, ounce, four ounces of the cough syrup into a white styrofoam cup. If you watch Little Wayne, he's always carrying around a white styrofoam, styrofoam cup. And it's, usually it's lean inside of that. Um, the lean, like I said, is a mix of Sprite or Skittles or, uh, or Jolly Ranchers. And it also, if you can go back, um, it's used with marijuana. It's mixed with marijuana. They dip the blunt into the cough syrup, let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour, and it's called a candy blunt. Most addicts who use the marijuana say they want to dip it in there because it, it lets it, uh, it burns a little slower. With them not knowing that it's also releasing toxins into the air, which is killing them. Um, all screwed up. This drug is perpetuated through screw music. As we said it before, um, sip it on scissor. In Texas, I don't know why, we just like things real slow. We like it slow and mellow. You'll take a regular song that's really fast, like a hip hop song, but we'll slow it down. But when we slow it down, we mix it together, and we kind of chop it up. So it's called screwed and chopped. Okay. Um, as I said, the glorification is slowing you down. The rap music influence. 